Hi all, Kitamari here. We are playing Moonless Moon. This is from Kami Tsubaki Studio, Kazuhide Oka. I saw Room 6 involvement. I've played Ghost Bee on this channel. I like it very much. Moonless Moon, this is version 1.0.1. I'm going to bring down a few things. I'm going to bring up text speed. I like to do that. <laughs> uh, I'll have the text size be normal for now, but actually, should I have it be large? I'm thinking about having it on large. Uh, I don't know, that would be helpful for, like, if you're watching this on a TV or something. <laughs> I'll just have it on normal, though, for now. And I'll see about what I want to do later. So, Moonless Mood. Here we are. Beautiful music already. Out of the shadow of the railway bridge and into the sunset-tinged light she walks, it feels like stepping into a whole different world. The bustle of the people coming and going around the station hits her like a sharp gust of wind. The thick fog of loneliness surrounding her is blown away instantly. The light shines right into Yomichi's eyes. She squints and lets the flow of people carry her forward. The station is always crowded at this time of the day. Lots of people, lots of reasons for being here. People riding on their train home, people who just arrived here, people who just stand there waiting for someone. Yomichi liked it that way. The endless stream of stimuli flooding her sight and he hearing kept her brain too busy to think. When she's surrounded like that, she almost forgets who she is. That's a huge weight off her mind. But she liked being under the bridge or in smaller alleys just as well. One road away is all it takes. The crowd feels silenced. If you listened closely, you could still hear them, but it was only a muffled roar from a distant world. You could look at the wind trying to rip off the tattered posters on the walls and think about yourself in peace and solitude. The night has almost arrived at the station. The sun slowly goes off to be replaced by the city's lights. Yomichi strolled, waiting for the dark. Now the station isn't close to either her home or her school. The chances of meeting anyone she knows are very, very low. The sun disappears between the buildings, leaving the sky black. Yomichi keeps walking. The things around her lose their shadows and their silhouettes become blurry. In come the streetlights, helping those things cast shadows again, and then she loses track of where she is. Before she knows it, she's walking in a desert. That looks more like space to me. I was just thinking about Starfield. Never properly played it, and I'm sure even if I did, I wouldn't do so properly. The moon's expanse of white sand and rocks spreads in all directions. The sky up above is lit by endless faint stars, but there is no moon to join them. Far away toward the horizon, a blur of light wavers like a mirage. You could think it was a reflection on a distant sea, but she knows it's a large moon city. She has never been there, and she couldn't even guess how many days it would take to walk all the way to it. A white desert and a black sky. Those are the only two colors she can see. She feels she could walk for hours with no addition to the palette. And yet she keeps going, treading along as if on a familiar path. She realizes something. She's not the only one through this silent world where blank cannot flow. Let me tap these. Oh, they're just question marks. The riddles one. You're about to play a riddle. During riddles, click on the words on the screen to examine them further and find keywords. You can place keywords in the hidden slots in the sentences at the bottom of the screen. Once you correctly complete the sentence, you'll be able to move forward with the story. You know what would be really cool is an idea like this where you could change the story. You could shape the story based on the words and then they'd have different outcomes. That would be a really neat idea for a visual novel. Uh, but I still like, I like this idea just being exactly what it is and the writing style is nice. She realizes something. She's not the only one blank. Through this silent world where blank cannot flow, 
The desert spreads with no end in sight, a world of sand and rocks. But there, in the distance, like a mirage, lies a moon city. Countless stars hang from the sky, but the constellations they draw are weird and unfamiliar. Wherever she may be, she knows that she is far away from home. She's not the only one. It's not world where... Um, she's... <laughs> I don't know, I feel like... Where... Stars cannot flow? You found the keyword stars. Oh, let me go back one. Oh, okay. Here and there, the white sand is spotted by rocks of the same color. She tries to pick one up, but it immediately crumbles into dust. Did all this sand used to be solid stone once? It certainly didn't feel that way. This place feels too quiet for time to actually move forward. Time. And... Okay. She's not the only one. Hmm. Time would go here. Stars through? Stars through, okay. She realizes something. She's not the only one stars through this silent world. You can place keywords in the hidden slots in the sentences at the bottom of the screen. Once you correctly complete the sentence, you'll be able to move forward with the story. Drag and drop them directly where you need to place want want to place them. You found two of three keywords. There's probably another one, right? Uh, she's not the only one, Moon City. <laughs> and all right. Moon City. Oh, walking. Yomichi squints at the buildings, wondering if people live there, but the city is too far for the dark silhouettes of people to stain the light from the windows. Even if there were people, walking all the way to them would take her days. You found the keyword walking. Not the only one walking through this silent world. There we go. That sounds a lot better. <laughs> She realizes something. She's not the only one walking through this silent world where time cannot flow. Eventually, she hears footsteps other than her own. Oh, Yomichi, a new outfit already? Turn around, and there she is. To spot these yesterday, aren't they cute? Well, they're unique. She utters lazily, with her hazy eyes pointed at the print on Yomichi's shirt. But Yomichi knows that she's more interested than she shows to be. You know, I've been wondering. You live in that city over there, right, Madobe? That I do. Isn't that far? I guess you could say it is. How do you come all the way here, then? Uh... Madobe gazes at the barrage-like city she just said she lives in. Did you know? She asks with a sudden, impertinent smile on her face. Know what? That skipping along makes you faster, almost as fast as light. I didn't know that. Yomichi tries skipping, but each step still only brings her one step forward. have an opening theme. Thank you. 
in the stars. Cat ears. <laughs> Cat. I should point. It's over there somewhere. Stay cry, 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 I'm so near, but I'm taking it. I'm not 